Hello everyone, my name is Victor and today I'll be making a quick update on USDJPY and Eurocard. Um, the reason I'm making this update is just for educational purposes and also to highlight important um, levels that appear to have been broken and should follow through this week and the week ahead. Okay, um, first of all, before we get into this video, if you are new to this channel, please go like and subscribe to the channel because we share educational contents like this every week and then yet me definitely if you are still struggling with becoming a profitable trader if you um, can follow this our, anal our analysis every week definitely you would become profitable in the long in the short run i mean okay so um this is usjpy daily chart and the first thing you can see on my chart are two trend lines one is an ascending trend line and the other is a descending trend line and in the combination they form a, what we call a triangle in the forex market and triangles are very important chart patterns that can signify the next direction of a currency pair. Now, from what we can see in this particular case, we have the um, descending um, triangle, the descending, descending trend that I mean starting from here, coming straight down to this place. And um, this where it started from was around, um, let's see, this is this um, move started on the 1st of July and now we're in September so this trend has been on for about three months July, August, September, yes that's three months and um, the bottom one started around the 31st of um, July to okay, let's say 1st of August so this one has been running for about close to two months yes so um, this is a very valid pattern because normally if you want to trade um, chart patterns like triangle um, wedges you need to work with daily time frame because it offers you more accuracy and um, offers you a better opportunity of making correct decisions all right so um, now we can see that there's a clear break of this descending trend line there's a clear break of it this one here you can see this um, bearish candle is very heavy bearish candle throughout last week and um, a few days in the week before We've had this area of consolidation and the area has held for throughout that period you can see the candles that are forming there are just excuse me okay so you can see the candles that are forming there are just almost in the same of the same height the same level so th this is what we call a consolidation and the market has just been hovering around that level for a very long for around one to two weeks okay now we have a clear break of the level we have a clear break of the level this um the level that has this trend line with this candle right here with this candle we have a very clear break of it and now we're expecting a follow through of this break and normally when we have a wedge like this that is broken um we expect price to move down to the base of the triangle and this is where the base is um, if I'm to pick up a horizontal line and place it on that level you will get a clear view this is the base of the triangle because that is exactly where the move started I think it's somewhere around there this is where the move started so it's the base of the triangle and um, once the see um, price move back to this level very important so how will we be um how will we be approaching this trade it's very simple we've already seen the first move which is this um, break of the um triangle what we want to see next is price come back do a bit of retracement starting from tomorrow although today has not closed but i can i, I believe it's going to close like this so the break has already occurred so we want to see a bit of a retracement back to this level um i would mark it with this pink line this is like a support level a minor support level so we want to see a retracement back to that level and then we can get follow through with the bearish move down to this support level first one one c price get to the support level first in fact if you are in a trade you may want to come out at this level because um, anything could happen from here it could actually price could actually reject it and make its way back up 
so we want to see it move down here first and if you get a break of this level then we may get a retest and we now then we can now get the original move to this base of the triangle so this is what we want to see from here on usj power starting from tomorrow and then um, because this is our outlook doesn't mean it must happen this is the forex market nothing is starting we can easily in, as much as we can see this move run down to the support level which is around 200 probably between 170 and 200 pips we could also get a false break from the, of this level and it goes up and you know takes everyone out of the market so in the market we we just have to follow with what we see even though sometimes it may disappoint but definitely what i'm saying here uh, i don't believe this move will complete this week and the week to come so this is what all i have on um, usj Pro. i hope it was easy for you to understand um i will move on to the next one now which is eurocard also an interesting pair that i've been watching since last week okay now i have eurocard on my um on, on my chart and this is daily time frame i love to analyze in daily time frame because it's more accurate than um the other smaller time frames so here we can what we can quickly see is this channel and um this channel is actually a flag okay I would I will show you this is this is the flag here it starts from here makes this um, corrective move down to this level so this is the flag and the pull normally this chart pattern called them um, flag has a pull this is the pull so you can see it the move started from here um, this is June the end and let's the ending of June started from there and made this strong impulsive move which actually looks very very solid should be about let's see how many pips it is around 650 pips so you can see it's a very it was a very very big move and um, now we find price at this currently at this level and what we see now is a break of this flag so after this move, normally we thought um, we expect price to just range for a while until it decides its next move. And um, why a lot of people may trade flag, I don't may not really I don't really support it except if it's a very wide range. Let's see. Um this flag from the resistance we support is around two hundred pips. So it may be uh, I think it's what it was worth trading. If you did, congratulations. But if you didn't, don't not worry. There's another opportunity here, and it is the break of this flag, which is actually where the big boys stay. Um, they don't big boys don't really trade the flag. They wait for a break so that they can get this kind of move, which we had before the 600 peak moves, which is what the banks target. And now we are about to get something similar again because after a break of flag, definitely we expect continuation to the upside. So after a break of a flag, we expect another impulse another impulsive wave and like i told you before normally the, the end of the move is actually at the base or the top of um that's the resistance or the support of where the move started so for this we will be expecting price to move on to this up to these highs or even beyond and um, it may take a few days or weeks but definitely the price should get there so we already have two candles closing above this um, daily flag which is a very very strong indication of a bullish uh, market so what we want to see now is a pullback definitely when we trade the forest market we always expect a pullback because it gives us a better risk to reward so what we want to see is a pullback towards this area of structure this support level that has been holding for i think two weeks you can see it was um it was acted as support here then here it acted as resistance here it acted as resistance um let's see again here it acted as resistance and if you look back here it acted as resistance so we had a lot of um, this resistance in the way and now that it's broken we want to see it act as support and that support will come in somewhere around here so you can see this, this level has been holding and i'm talking about this particular horizontal level in case you may not understand uh, uh, what support and resistance is yet I'm talking about this horizontal level so you can see it's been um, holding for a long while so 
this is it and um, now price above it so what we want to see is a pull back towards this level um a pull back towards this level then before the move to the upside i know the chart is getting a bit messy but i hope you understand what i'm saying okay let me just take everything off so i, I believe you understand so once the price comes back towards here once price comes back towards here we will be taking a very good um bullish trade with a good risk to reward and um let's see what how many pieces we may be coming out with if we get the entry somewhere around here then we may be making up to 200 to 250 pips on this trade so this is what i have on eurocard i hope it uh, it was um i hope it was easy for you to understand um and um, that's it most of the time we do our analysis on daily and weekly and the four hours but in this case the daily explains almost everything if you go to the weekly you may not see much except that last week candle was a bullish candle which i would say is, was a bit engulfing and this is enough to fuel the move to the upside this week and on the four hours i'm sure there's really nothing much okay we can see that the wave has tied already on the four hours starting from this bottom you can see it up down up down up and now when it comes back here we we'll get the next move up so that's it for your card i hope um it's clear i hope you understand until next time have a nice trading week and please subscribe to our channel like and share our videos invite your friends who you want to learn how to trade as well invite them to come and um learn with us um don't forget to subscribe, share, and um, have a successful trading week. This is Victor signing out. Bye.